first book that Diophantus had um, had determinant equations, which are equations that have one solution. And one of the problems is find four numbers that when three of them are added together, their sum is one of four given numbers. So our numbers are going to be 20, 22, 24, and 27. And you could use trial and error guessing, but it's not very dependable. So then students try to look at it in an algebraic way, and they found that if x is less than or equal to y, and y is less than or equal to z, and z is less than or equal to w, then they can put it in the equation of x plus y plus z equals 20, x plus y plus w equals 22, x plus z plus w equals 24, x plus z plus y equals 27. But that might be a little tedious and you'd have to use algebra to solve it and it would just be a little more challenging. But Diophantus looked at it as that would be solvable but a little challenging and take a lot of time. So he looked at it as, let's say that x is the sum of all four numbers. So x minus 20, x minus 22, x minus 24, and x minus 27. If those four numbers are added, the result will be x. So x minus 20 plus x minus 22 plus x minus 24 plus x minus 27 gives you x. And if you solve that, 4x minus 93 is x, blah, 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 you get x equals 31. Now, you plug 31 back into x. So 31 minus 20, 31 minus 22, 31 minus 24, and 31 minus 27. And we get 11, 9, 7, and 4. And if you add those back up, you see that 11 plus 9 plus 7 equals 27. 11 plus 9 plus 4 equals 24. 11 plus 7 plus 4 equals 22. And 9 plus 7 plus 4 equals 20, which is all of our original numbers. In books two through six, there were indeterminate equations, which have multiple rational solutions. So one of the problems is find two numbers such that the square of either added to the other gives a square. So if you look at this algebraically, you think x squared plus y equals a squared and x plus y squared equals b squared. And so, Diophantus chose to represent the two numbers as x and 2x plus 1. So we have x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals a squared. And 2x plus 1 squared plus x equals b squared. The first one is already a square x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals x plus 1 squared. But we still need to find the second one added to the first and give us a square. So he chose to represent b as 2x minus 2. And if you plug that in, you see that you get 2x plus 1 squared plus x equals 2x minus 2 squared. And you foil it out and go through the process and work your way down and eventually you get x equals 3 over 13. 